Yesterday, our grandparents looked at this locomotive in amazement. Today, it is a curiosity. The locomotive hasn't changed. We have. Smaller locomotives gave way to big ones. And the big ones gave way to steaming giants. And then, even the giants were no longer good enough. And the glamour of steam had to make way for the efficiency of the diesel. The dieselization of American railroads was one of the biggest turning points in railroading history. The age of electronics and computerization in the mid and late 20th century brought forth some of the greatest technological advancements ever conceived. The diesel locomotive pushed America forward in terms of transportation and economic value. And coming up now are the three locomotives that had the biggest impact in such a feat. Hello and welcome to a Northwest Ohio Trains video special. Today we're going to be taking a look at the three greatest diesel locomotives ever produced in North America. Before we get started, drop a comment below to see how close you can get to guessing correctly all three locomotives that will be featured in this video. After you've done that, let's get started. First to start us off we have the EMD GP9. Around 4,100 units were produced between January 1954 and August of 1963. Equipped with 1,750 horsepower, 645C engines, the GP9 is the original road switcher and the one that started it all. A select handful of these engines can be seen around the country today, but they are getting harder and harder to find. For example, the Chesapeake and Ohio had 363 units, however only a handful still survive. One is likely to find GP9s today in rebuild form as GP9Rs, the Willing and Lake Erie plus Canadian National's subsidiary the Grand Trunk used these engines as yard switchers in their respective yards. Fortunately, I was able to come across an unmolested GP9 to show today. The Adrian and Blissfield has two GP9s they use to run their dinner train across the old road. Originally a Grand Trunk Western numbered 4554, the unit was repainted in 2005 to the Adrian and Blissfield's green and yellow scheme and still sees weekly use out of Blissfield, Michigan.
its road switcher setup and legendary reliability that outperformed General Electric, the GP9 kicked off not only the general purpose series itself, but an open door for the next generation of diesel locomotives to come. Our next locomotive brings us right back home to the vulnerable NS Toledo district and one of my least favorite trains. That's right folks, the ever famous 344 is the star of the show for its continued use of standard cab EMD power. You guessed it, the oh so common and useful SD40-2 has made the list. It's the early 1970s and EMD needed a powerhouse to destroy its competitors from GE and Elko. With the 645 already a predominant successor to the 567, Electromotive used upgraded electronics and modular systems to create the most popular diesel locomotive ever. With nearly 4,000 units produced, the ST40-2 was born a legend. Introduced in January of 1972 as part of EMD's Dash 2 series, along with reliability and versatility of the 3,000 horsepower 645 engine, the SD40-2 is the best-selling model in EMD's history and was an industry standard for several decades after its introduction, not to mention easily outperforming and selling the GE U30C and Elko Century. The SD40-2 was an improvement over the SD40 with modular electronic control systems. Since production, many SD40s have since been upgraded to Dash 2 standards. The longevity of the unit keeps most of the 3,982 built still on the rails today, with 21st century rebuild systems keeping them fresh and work ready. The Burlington Northern Railroad purchased the most SD40-2s, reaching just over 900 units. Many of these still roam in one form or another, some of them are still in original paint, like two on the Wheeling and Lake Erie and one on the Indiana and Ohio. Others have been completely remanufactured, like the BN7149, an LNG test unit now in the Norfolk Southern as NS3528. Around 110 BNSD40-2s made their way over to Norfolk Southern through numerous leasing agencies. These engines were ran around in original paint for a few months before being shopped, repainted, and sent back out. Many units still retain their original nose light and cap, however only a select few were replaced with Admiral cabs and high headlights.
The versatility of the SD40-2 made it an obvious choice for Class 1 locals and Class 3 road trains. Today, many railroads like the Wheeling and Lake Erie have a nearly monotonous roster of EMD 40 series locomotives. It is unlikely that any unit in the near future will replace the SD40-2 Stronghold. With ease of maintenance and rebuild programs keeping these units good as new, it's hard to see an end of the road for the most popular EMD locomotive ever. In 2005, the most foamer-loved engine ever created was launched by General Electric. Called the Jivo, the ES44 series is the most popular of current locomotives on the rails. Featuring a 4400 horsepower Jivo 12 engine, it is a number one choice for today's Class 1 railroads. Four versions were originally announced including the AC, alternating current traction motor, DC, direct current traction motor, AH, high adhesion, heavier units, and the C4, which had four rather than six traction motors. In 2012, four ET Tier 4 Emission Standard compliant units were released with the same versions available. Only CSX ordered AHs and only BNSF has ordered C4s. This engine has beaten the EMD competitor due to its production numbers and popularity among the railroads. Over 7,000 Evolution Series locomotives have been built since 2005, handily outbeating the electromotive equivalents and also beating them in terms of emission standards as well. In 2015, when the EPA deadline for its Tier 4 emission standards were released, General Electric already had a locomotive prepared, while EMD did not. At the time of this video, the EMD Tier 4 locomotive, called the SC70ACE-T4, or on the Union Pacific, the SC70AH, was not prepared and is still in testing stages on many railroads, with Union Pacific and BNSF as the only current owners of production units. <laughs> Back there. The signal. Oh, uh, yeah, this one's right. Yeah. Oh, down. Oh, yeah, it was going around. Yeah.
AMD 710 engine was a handy successor to the 645 and was used in many locomotives. However, General Electric finally got it right with the introduction of the Evolution series and has taken the industry by storm. How did you do? The GP9, the SD40, and the Evolution series locomotives are the three greatest locomotives that changed railroading. What will be the next? I have no idea. If I had to guess, it would probably be some form of GE. However, we'll just have to see how that one plays out. So, until the next time, stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you soon.